Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about new AWS service that is AWS Glue. This is very much important from a data engineer perspective. In most of the job demand if you will see for the AWS data engineer or data engineer, they generally look for the AWS Glue knowledge. So that actually only we are going to discuss in this particular video. So first we will try to understand what is Glue. We will try to understand when actually we should use a AWS Glue. We'll try to discuss about the benefits. We'll try to discuss about the architecture part. We'll try to discuss about the components and all. So let us start with what is AWS Glue. AWS Glue is a cloud optimized ETL service. So let us try to understand what is ETL. So what is ETL? ETL is nothing but a extract, transform and load. So extracting a data from a different sources. For taking example, suppose I have a data that is available in a SQL Server, PostgreSQL Server and also I am getting a data in the form of a CSV. Main purpose is I want to connect this whole data and I want to clean the data and I finally want to load the data so that the data analysts or the data science people can create a report and can do a, some kind of the prediction over there. So what I will use, I will use a ETL tool for that. So ETL tool will help to connect with the multiple data sources and they will provide the facility so that I can perform a cleaning and aggregation over there and finally I will try to load the data ok so in AWS space if you want to do this ETL activity so AWS Glue is a best service how AWS Glue is a different from other ETL service it is a serverless that is the main advantage what is serverless means you don't need to maintain any server you don't need to worry about any kind of the infrastructure everything will maintain by the AWS you only have to worry about your data and you only have to worry about your data pipelines how actually you have to create and what is your uh, business needs you only have to focus on that you don't need to worry about the infrastructures and all auto scaling and all. everything will maintain by the AWS itself it is a serverless that is the main advantage the second advantage is like it is a schema inference it will automatically detect your schema so that is the second advantage when we'll do a practical i will show you how actually it automatically detect the schema from your data itself the third one is like auto generated etl scripts so you don't need to manually write any kind of the etl scripts for that we have one facility in aws glue when you will generate a workflow it will automatically try to generate a script for that so that script actually you can utilize so that's kind of the facility actually it provides okay so that's kind of the advantage we have AWS glue that's why it's became very famous when actually we should use AWS glue when you have to build a data warehouse to organize clean validate and format the data when you want to create a ETL pipeline, when you want to run a serverless query against the Amazon S3. So this kind of the purpose generally we use a AWS Glue. So let's discuss about the Glue benefits. First is the less hassle. So AWS Glue connects with the multiple uh, data sources easily. It connects with the multiple AWS services like Amazon S3, RDS, Redshift easily. So that's why it became very easy when we use AWS Glue. The second is more power. It automatically generate the schema. It automatically generate the ETL skills. So it provide more power for the our ETL services. The third one is the cost effective. It is a serverless. Means whatever the whenever you will run for that only you have to pay amount for that. It is not like uh, even you are not using then also you have to pay. When you will use then only you have to pay. So that's why it is a cost effective also. Let's come to the glue terminology. So there are several terminology which we should understand so coming to the terminology first let us try to understand the architecture and then we will come to the terminology let us take one example suppose my data that is available in Amazon S3 in Amazon S3 my data is available in the form of the CSV now what actually I have to do in this CSV the 50 column it contains and, and what actually I have to do I have to clean this data means I have to perform some kind of the transformation means only the 20 column it should contain and finally I have to load in the form of the JSON in the final table so that is the my requirement here ok so for that we will use a ETL and we are going to use a AWS glue so let us try to understand how this AWS glue will work here now from the architecture you can see first thing is the data store so that is nothing but a your Amazon S3 so we will try to connect with the data store now the second thing is coming into the crawler so what this crawler will do it will go to your Amazon S3 it will try to scan your data and whatever the schema of your data right it will try to store into a data catalog so you can see here you have a data catalog 
in this data catalog it will contain all your table definition all your job definition all the every kind of the meta data information actually this data catalog contain suppose in your amazon s3 in a csv file when crawler will go and it will try to scan your data so suppose once it is scanning and it finds like in your csv file you have id you have a name you have a salary column all the kind of the metadata right it will detect and it will try to store into the data catalog okay so i hope you got what is crawler and what is data catalog crawler will go to your data store it will try to scan your data whatever the metadata it will find it will try to store into the data catalog okay once you have a table definition now after that what actually we will do we will try to perform a transformation after that the job comes into the picture now in the bottom you can see right uh, in the bottom you can see you have a job you have a data catalog in the data catalog all the metadata information of your data is available now after that the jobs comes into the picture here we will try to write a etl script okay so here we will try to write a script for transformation or data so suppose out of 50 you only have to select the 20 column and you have to perform some cleaning so for that we will try to write a script for that okay and finally we will try to load into the final destination and and this is the etl aws glue right so for if you want to schedule your, either you can schedule or either you can run a manually so that is the thing also comes into the picture so that is how the aws glue architecture works so in a aws glue architecture you will see crawler so what crawler will do crawler will go to your data store it will try to scan your data and whatever the metadata information it will find it will try to store into the data catalog after that jobs comes into the picture in the job what actually we will try to do we will try to write a etl script it will try to define the workflow and will try to dump the data into final location okay so that is how the glue architecture works so from a terminology perspective we will see data catalog data catalog contain the metadata information the classifier classifier actually help to detect the schema suppose json schema csv schema and all this classifier actually will help connection which actually help to connect the data store crawler which actually go to your data store it will try to scan your data and it will detect the schema and it will try to tell the metadata information and you try to store into the data catalog database we know and the job where actually we try to uh, run the jobs and the script table transform everything actually we know and trigger actually with the help of we try to trigger the etl jobs this is how actually you will see the moving data suppose you have data that is available into a multiple data stores so what this aws crawler will do it will first try to crawl the data all the metadata information it will try to store into the data catalog and with the help of the job aws glue job it will try to store into the final data so that's how actually the structure looks like now coming to the pricing so these are the pricing which you can see for creating a crawler you can see this is the cost for the data catalog it contains this much and for the request and all and for the etl jobs and all so whenever you will create a whenever you will do a practice make sure once you do all your activity please try to shut down your uh, the glue job crawler and everything otherwise you will be charged here also you may get charged but the charge will be minimum but if you are running for a longer time and all so that may charge high amount so that actually you have to take care okay because for the crawler also for the data catalog also for everything you can see this much amount actually it get charged okay so once you do a practice please try to shut down everything please try to terminate everything so that you if, if any charge is also coming that will be minimum to do a practical and we'll try to understand more about this data catalog crawler things and all so that you will be having a better understanding